Hello everybody, well I've just finished test riding the uh, GSR750 and because they're still doing my bike and they probably won't have it done until this afternoon I am borrowing this, an XJ6 Diversion Yamaha, apparently it's not going to set my soul on fire Hello, I can't care, I won't ride anything me Basically I'm just going to go and get some lunch somewhere and spend the day riding other people's bikes That's a good day off as far as I'm concerned Ooh, that clutch. I was about to go down the kerb, and I've just remembered the, the bottom of this bike is, is not far off the floor. I'm so used to SMs. Oh, Jesus. See, this is the thing for me. I love bikes. I just love bikes. I don't care who made it, how quick it is, what it does, etc, etc. Every bike has got a purpose. It's got a reason it was made and aimed for it. For what it was supposed to do. It might not suit what you wanted it to do, in which case, you know, you're not going to like it. But you can't come at it from the wrong point, sort of mindset. That's the key to these things. But, and that, um, because I just love anything with two wheels, I'm just, I just love bikes. I'll ride anything. I'll even enjoy this. This is one thing that does pee me off when it comes to reviews. And it's not just bikes, it's other things. It's that people use their own misconception, their own preconceptions and their own opinion as in what they want something to do. For instance, people, you know, they a lot of the reviews I saw on the DRZ, Z, DRZ, there you go, you're happy now. Um, so, you know, oh, it's, it's not very quick, etc, etc. And, like, things like that. And it's like, well, yeah, I know it's not the quickest bike in the world. That's the one criticism people give it. Like, you know, it's, it's not very quick in, you know, top end. It's like, yeah, but it was never designed to be. If you want to bike this quick, buy something bigger than a 400, maybe. Come on, let's see what she got. Fucking hell, I, think I, like, I feel like I'm in seventh. I've actually had a right laugh riding this bike back. It's been good. I didn't even bother recording any of the riding back because it was just wind noise. There was some weird moment actually where the screen started wobbling backwards and forwards and I had some weird buffeting thing on my shoulders and felt like I was going Ugh. The uh, The brakes on this are <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> the throttle's a bit sticky and the clutch is a little bit jammy. This is a loner though, you know. It's not that slow either. When you rev the living shit out of it, I'm gonna. I need to name her for the short time I'm on her. She was she the, the, the diversion? Is it the diversion? Let's call her Divvy. Div. You're right, Div. Div. Dev. Div. Div. We'll call her Div. You're right, Div. You are a bit Divvy, but we love you. It's actually very comfortable. The engine is yeah. It's 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 not got a huge amount of power. It's a little bit mute. The bike's a little bit heavy. It's like a slightly angry bee. You stole my honey! Get off my honey! Jesus! Typical Audi driver for you. You're a divvy. You're a divvy. <laughs> oh dear. What's that brought your fuel up to? I put six quid in it. Oh, oh divvy, you're, you've got a bit of a divvy ignition as well. There we go. Here we go, up to four bars. All right. Well, anyway, while we were going a little cruise on Divi to pass the time while Derek's MOT is getting done, um, oh, and valve check. The reason it's taking so long is because they're doing a valve check and they have to wait for the bike to completely cool down. Anyway, anyway. Um, anyway, so here's a story of something that happened last night. We have three cats at home, okay? Three cats. One of them is a bit of a useless cat as far as it goes being cat. She's fat, she's cute, she's fluffy, but she's, she's not very good as a cat. The other one is, um, well, his name is Dave. He's black and white. What more, more can I say? He's a, he's a proper just common cat. He keeps himself to himself. He's okay. And then we got another one, which is an utter bitch. Okay, it's just a bitch. He's a spoiled little brass, my sister's cat. She's quite cute and all. She does tricks and everything like, you yeah, know, give me a paw. 
But yeah, anyway. So, but she picks on the one that's a bit of a useless cat. Her name is Mia. You've met her before. Well, she attacked her. Just a little scrap, but she must have caught her on the paw or something. Because, well, basically, I get to open my door and there is blood all over the floor. And I mean a lot of blood. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm following this trail of blood, like, round the corner. It's all in the carpet. Our carpet is knackered. Round the car, around the corner, and I'm like, Jesus, what the hell's happened? Look into the bathroom. It's like a murder scene. There is blood everywhere. It's sprayed on the walls. It's on the floor. It's dripped on everything. And there is poor little Mia in the middle of the floor going, meow, meow. And I'm like, oh, shit. Is she being run over? That's what my major concern is, because we've had quite a few cats run over. And then as it turns out, cause I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it's bleeding everywhere. What the fuck is going on? And, and so I'm like, oh, well, she did just have a little scrap with Tabby. That's the bitch cat. And yeah, basically, bitch cat managed to just catch her in a place that makes, you know, probably in a paw or I think it was in between one of the pads or something. And basically, it just bre bred? It bred like a baguette. Um, it bled like a bastard. Within ten, like five minutes, it stopped bleeding, and we, so I had her sat on a towel, and I'm like, you okay? And I'm giving her love and everything. But Jesus Christ, it scared the crap out of me. Oh my God. You got your own divvy. She's not very, she's a bit wobbly. Yeah, divvy, 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 divvy. So yeah, she's fine, she's fine. She's just a bit sore on the paw at the moment. There wasn't anything big enough to actually need any stitches or anything. So just keeping it clean and she'll be fine. But yeah, as I say, it just scared the living crap out of me because I just see this blood everywhere and then I find my cat at the end of it. I'm like, what the, no, no. But it was kind of cute that after she got attacked, the first person she came to try and find was me. There was a big puddle of blood outside my door and she'd obviously, I could follow the trail from where it all happened. She obviously got nicked and it just started pissing blood instantly. And from that point, it, you could see the trail up and over the sofa, thanks for that. We have managed to clean that off. Across the floor, and then like, you can't see it on the stairs, so she obviously legged it up the stairs, and then outside my door there's like, there's circles of it, and then blood spots everywhere, and she was obviously looking for me. Bless her. I'm guessing where her paw was all wet with blood, she then was like shaking it, you know, like cats do, like, ugh, wet, wet, wet. Well, th th that kind of covered her and the walls in blood as well. It's just, oh. She couldn't have got it over much more of the house if she tried. By the way, if you own one of these bikes, and I'm taking the piss a bit calling it Divi. This, one, this one's been used and abused, I'm sure. Actually, I, I don't mind this bike at all. I can't say I'd want to ride it all day, every day, always. It's, it's not the most thrilling thing. But if you needed to commute on it, it'd be fine. Because it's smooth and comfortable. Come on, I want to eat some bloody food. I've only had bacon this morning. And these, I can't go to like McDonald's or KFC or something like that, like most people would. I'm on a diet. So I'm going to have to go to Subway. This is... Hey, do you like my divvy? <laughs> How do I make this my job? Just riding random bikes every day. I'd love it. I just, I need to win the lottery and then it'd be fine. I win the lottery and I could just do this. I don't even care if it's like, you know, everyone else is taking out Panigales and, and God knows what. And I'm like, give me a divvy. I'll have loads of fun on that. Divvy. Oh my god, you can steer this with your butt cheeks! Actually, I think I feel like I have more... Look, if you do this to the bars, not a lot going on. Even counter-steering, oh, it does it to a bit. But, use, use me butt cheeks, use the old butt cheeks, and it's, oh, it always comes all flippable. Yeah, you're welcome. See, look, it's all in the butt cheeks on this bike. All in the butt. It's all in the butt. Divvy. Divvy, 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 divvy. I just couldn't believe how much blood was just everywhere. I thought it was like, oh my God, she must be really badly. No. No, just a little scratch. Just in the wrong place. You know, it's like if you ever, uh, if you've ever bang and split your head open, you you just piss blood everywhere. 
and it's just because it's a high um, high flow high concentration of blood cells in that area God, imagine if you nicked your cock several blokes have just gone oh 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 but no that's nasty i don't shut up spicy why did you even say that oh good news by the way i will be taking more bikes out from hazelmere motorcycles so there's another line of bikes and the great thing about hazelmere is they don't just have one brand they are a suzuki dealer but they have all sorts of brands so i can try all sorts that's how i've ended up with the a yummy do you like my divvy she comes in white God, the rear brake is as spongy as a sponge. Hey, what, what else was I going to say? It was spongy as a cake or something like that. No, it's, it's really spongy. It's as spongy as a sponge. It's, it's as spongy as you can get, pretty much. I feel like I'm stepping on SpongeBob's face. Actually, the brakes aren't that bad once you apply about 4,000 pounds of force with your hand. Pretty much, if you imagine a steel bar, how much you need to crush a steel bar, like a scaffold bar? with your hand, that's what you need to do. Just, it's fine. So much so that you end up throt throttling it. Come on, I want food, you motherfucker! Which lane are you gonna have, or are you just gonna choose both? No, no! You're just gonna have both, aren't you? You couldn't, and... Mr. Policeman, did you not notice that? They are literally sat in both lanes. Dear God! Oh, oh God! It's not an SM! I forgot! Oh. <laughs> Jesus! I have to remember I'm not riding an SM now. It doesn't have that sort of suspension. Oh dear, okay, furious, furious me old mate. Where are you? You haven't spoken to me for a while. Um, all those times I took you over cobbles, I'm sorry. I, I truly am, I'm not, I'm not at all. It was funny as hell. If anyone blocks me in, I swear to God, I swear to God, I will kick your head in. Oh. This has got a centre stand, I'm going to fucking use it, because I never get to use centre stands. How do we do this? Hey. Fuck me! I know it's all in the technique, but Jesus. It's nearly there! Yeah. See, Divi's even got a Divi ignition, you have to give it a good old wiggle. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my day, and I'll uh, catch you all next time when I get out of here. God, it's, it's a little chunkier. At least I can get my feet flat on the ground. Okay, well, I'm fueled up, the bike's fueled up, so I'm going to enjoy my day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, people. Say goodbye, Divi. Did you hear it? I, I couldn't tell. It's, it's, a, it's a good pike. But I need bacon. It's more important at this point in time.